Hey guys, today we're going to look into a new option for power duplicate in Affinity version 2.2. I'm going to use Affinity Designer, but the good news is you can use this technique in the whole family. So we can use it in Photo and Publisher as well. So as you may know already, there is something called power duplicate, where you are not only duplicating the object, but also the last transformation. Let me show you an example. So if I got this a uh, nice square here and I duplicate this using command, I pressing command on my keyboard and now dragging this out. So I dragging this out and add a bit of rotation as well. If I use a power duplicate option, so that's a duplicate over here in edit. Take a look, I got another copy but it's also moved and it's also rotated. And if I keep going with the shortcut, that's Command or Control J, you see, that's what we call power duplicate. It's not only a copy, but also a last transformation apply to the object. In that case, I move it up and rotate a little bit. So in the past, we can do it as I just show using a mouse, maybe keyboard shortcuts and stuff like that. But now, now we can do it by typing exact numbers of duplicates, exact transformation from the keyboard. So let me just draw a nice shape like this oval. I will convert it to curves and maybe turn a top and the bottom point to be a sharp node. Okay, that's a nice shape to start with. And now I just click on the shape and press enter or return on my keyboard. And this will bring a pop-up box like that. From here, we can decide how many copies do we want. So I want to duplicate this. So I click here. Okay, and now number of copies. I want 35 copies. And the transformation I will do with rotation. I will change the rotation by 10% for each copy. Take a look. And that's how it will work with Power Duplicate. But now I can make it way faster if I know what to type in this box. All right. So that's one way how we can use this new pop up box. Let's try again with the square. I press Enter while the shape is selected, and I got my pop up here. Take a look, I can move it so I can just make a transformation like 100 millimeters horizontally. And it's jump here. All right, so we can just move it. There's a vertical move. We can also adjust the distance together with angle and rotation as I showed before. If you just want to move it or change the angle, you can do it from here. If you want to make copies, then turn on the duplicate option. And now we are setting up those values for the next copy. So if I give it 10 and 10. Okay, so the copy is moved 10 millimeters to the right and down. And then we can also adjust a rotation if you like, like 5%, let's say. Okay. And now we can decide how many copies do you want. And that's all from that pop-up window. So you can be really precise, especially if you already got something in your mind. So this is what I want to show today. Now we got two options to power duplicate. One is the classic one, as we did it before, simply use make operation and then common J to duplicate. A second option, the new option is to simply select object, press enter, and you can make some custom duplications over here from this menu, just by deciding about how many copies do you need, typing everything in nicely in this pop up menu. All right, so here it is. I hope this video was helpful. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.